Groove is a term that is often used in relation to rhythmic music. Usually it refers to a quality in the music, as in this track lacks a good groove or we need a better groove to make this song work. So what signifies a good groove? Groove as a quality is usually defined as an urge to move. You just can't sit still. It's a typical saying when the groove is good. So it's related to movement, to the body, to bodily pleasure. Moreover, grooves are repetitive. A certain part can be repeated many times. Why? Well, since you have to learn how to react with your body, learn the moves, and then you repeat it and enjoy again and again. If it had constantly changed, you would not have been able to predict how to move. But again, if the groove is too static for a long period, you might find it boring. So good tracks have both repetition and variation, usually. The most common grooves used in dance music and, pop and modern pop music are very pulse-oriented. There is no doubt where the pulse is. Sometimes the pulse delivery can be so powerful by itself that it forms a good groove. But usually there are other elements that pull in other directions. Another type of groove is when the sounds that communicate the pulse give tension or suspension or if they pull or push in various directions. I'll end this video with a short movement-oriented analysis of a groove from the dance music, from a dance music track. First, the combination of bass drum, hand clap and hi-hat. These three communicate the pulse. The bass drum presents the downbeat and zooming in closer on the spectrogram we can see that it has downward pitch movement that makes the downward feeling even stronger. On this sonogram you can see that the bass drum sounds they have a pitch movement downwards, a descending pitch, pitch movement. Mm. It doesn't go mm, but it goes mm, which also makes it when you move to it, it makes it mm, 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 mm. you feel this kind of movement downwards when you when you listen to it. In between the bass drum sounds, there are hi-hats on the offbeats, which you can, where you can see that are in between here. And I've drawn a so-called possible movement curve that shows how most people move to this sound. Down on the bass drum, up on the hi-hat. Every second bass drum is combined with a hand clap sound that gives more energy to the beat. And in between, on the offbeat or upbeat, we have the hi-hat high-frequency sound that may pull us upward. So I draw a possible curve for an up and down movement that can be experienced through for example head nodding or body bouncing, with the low point being the bass drum, even lower to show more energy when the snare drum is added, and upwards to where the hi-hat hits. The groove here also has a pattern with a vocal-like sound that works to make it more exciting. Vocal sounds also present the possibility to sort of sing along, make a similar sound, sound producing action. Later in the track there is a synthesizer sound with a pattern that also follows the same path of moving upwards in pitch in line with this up and down movement. Dancing, moving to music is a very creative and personal activity, so it's impossible to predict what kind of movement the music will produce. Still, good DJs and good producers know how to make it work. Thank you.